Hello friends, welcome to webscript.info and here we are going to continue a lot of video series and up to now we have seen a lot of things like how to create controllers, how to create models, how to display all the records. So we are in the, uh, in this video we are going to continue with updation of the record. So whenever we click on edit button then we will redirect to a form where we will have our uh, existing data and we can update our records. That's it. And after this project we will continue with the main version of this student enrollment it is just about crud uh, create read update delete but after finishing those four operations we will continue with the main uh, student enrollment system with authentication and a lot of things so let's continue here so here is our project and you can see our project uh, directory structures and i'm gonna uh, going to inside the controller we have a student controller and before uh, going uh, before working on this controller let's see the route so our server is already running and i have already seen my route so you can see here uh, to update the record for that we need a edit form where we will have our student record and then we will update that record so you can see it's a get request and the uri is simply student forward slash so this curly bracket indicates it requires a id means student id and then forward slash edit the route is route name is simply student dot edit so first we need a form so let's create a form uh it's a controller authors uh, go inside the resources views and views and then we have student app student and it's a create form let's create a new file and name it as edit Edit dot blade dot php save and uh, copy the create form from here. Uh, go to the create and copy everything from here. Copy paste here. That's it. And uh, so this is our, uh, our form we just need to say here date student record save it and uh, file save all refresh server is running stop it So this is the actual ID you can see no it's not an ID it's the looping I'm looping here I'm incrementing the numbers so the, let's you can simply uh, see the route here route is string for slash ID and edit so if you do so student forward slash uh, pass the ID let's say one one is uh, I'm itself forward slash edit and you can see it has a blank page why there should be id edit okay we haven't uh, uh, loaded our view file right so from controller just go inside your controller uh, which is here and uh, you can see return view you can see here shrink dot edit so this is a file we have just created okay save it refresh and you can see we have update student record form so instead of save i will show update save it refresh so what we need we need here the student record in this form based on this id right so we are getting id here and if you go inside the controller and we will receive id by this student object so go inside and say uh, dd dot student forward slash id 
the URL is simply id save refresh and you can see the id is 1 if you type here 2 okay it doesn't exist 2 4 4 exist let's say 5 5 also exists so these strings exist that's why we're getting here 5 okay based on this id we will find out the student uh, student type simply student model we already imported this student model here and so I type find and dollar student okay student id save save the record here pass in the as a second parameter so here say student power sure save it save all okay so it will uh, this uh, should uh, information will be in our view file here in here edit so we can do here simply just to see if you're getting the record or not Okay, save and refresh you can see we have all the student model related properties we're going to look at the attributes here you can see here we go you can see we have uh, that information that student related information okay so just to remove it from here and uh, echo these things in the form so we don't require this uh, thing dollar student arrow uh, it will be name so it's a student name save reload and you can see we have the student name correct Similarly, we will display all these things here. Don't forget we have only the email not a student underscore email save it Refresh and you can see we have all the data Okay, name is Adil Khan at the rate Adil Gmail role and other things here. So go back to the home and Just click here edit. Okay. We need to specify the route here So just go inside the create form Oh, sorry not create and show student here why they are going to change this url uh, you can simply place a route as well as uh, if you want you can place the url so i'm just gonna place the route okay so route name is simply it is here student dot edit So you can say student.edit and we'll have to also pass the student ID, right? So for that we can pass as a second parameter the student ID. It's an optional parameter if you're using route. Sometimes we don't require ID or anything else. Right? Student dot 
I'll okay, great. Save it. Refresh. You can see we have a, a name and email address, roll number, everything. Just go with another. You can see we have this is your name, role, email. This one also we have everything we have. So let's update it. Okay, just go um, form. Where is our edit form? And here route will be different. This time route will be. Uh, see your route where string dot update. This is this will be your route, and if you use URL, then it will string forward slash string. But it's a put request, right? It's not a post request. It's a put request. So we'll have to specify. But if it is a post request, you don't need to specify. But if it is a put request, then you'll have to specify in the input field as a hidden parameter. It's a put request, right? So just go here and say input type will be hidden and name will be underscore method and value will be put so now it's a push re put request okay and uh, come in your controller okay let's modify this route so it will be string dot what is this string dot update so you're using a uh, route right you can pass second parameter right okay we don't need to say at all student or ID okay we have a student object here so we can echo the ID also save all refresh Okay, edit, update, and you can see it's a no error means it's an up to now it's perfect. So come to your controller and see update and say here echo dollar student arrow or or simply say dd dollar request arrow. Put save save all refresh. And you can see we have array, and here also a lot of uh, uh, indexes uh, inside this array. The method is put token and uh, name, email, role, and other things. So we are going to update these things. To update this, we need to have the student model object. student scope resolution operator and use the find method this uh, this is an eloquent method to get the record of a particular user or student here we'll have to say student arrow id ah uh, i'm doing something wrong we already have the student record right should id finder okay this is great dollar student Shrine and you can say here dollar student arrow and uh, student name we are going to update name so just say here request and student name then we have dollar student arrow student Here it will be uh, email role email. Then we will have role then we will have address.
Here we will have roll. Here we will have a string email. And string name, it will be string name. So in this way we can update it. To update it, we have to say string arrow. Save. Okay. So just save all once again and uh, go back, refresh and test. So it's this one, huh? And I'm gonna say her. So only update, and you can see no error. Let's check our database. Showing enrollment. And you can see the record is updated. So it's one only showing role, showing address, the rest of the thing is same as it is with the new it's not we're using save method you can see here, but it's updating, it's because of first we are getting the uh record using the strand ID, and then based on this this strand ID, we are updating that strand record. Simple, right? And rest of the thing will be same as it is. Save all. So this is a wonderful way of updating the record. If we got the success, we can go back. If dollar uh, student or save, if it's success, then it will return uh, back. Not back. We can do redirect uh, route. Where we want to go, uh, route name will be. I want to go in the uh, in the home page, right? Store student or index. Student dot index, and with a message with success, and say here. If something wrong, then we will back with put you can also pass the error message. Save all okay, go back and refresh. So again it will be so on call. It. You can see it's a Rizwan Khan back, but we don't have any success message. I will see what was happened, but let's make sure we are updating it. Edit. Uh -huh, update. And you can see the record is updated successfully. It's not a problem at all. But why we are not having message? Uh, route string of success with. Success string record updated successfully. This is correct, right? And this is working fine here also. It's a flash message. Okay, guys, we will see in the next video what's wrong with this uh, return redirect. Okay, we will see in the next video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.